This is in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Although, initially it may look like it. Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, table setup. Cool. All right. Um. Wow, chat's active already. Do 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 do. All right. So good morning. Um. Are we playing with no chat today? Are you officially an anime stream now? It fucking feels like it, doesn't it? Um, I don't know if I if I should play with no chat. What do What do you guys think? Um, I'll if, when people kind of kind of roll in, in five minutes, I'll pull it and we'll see. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there should be no chat today. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if this is if this is. Some people said yes, there should be no chat. Some people said no, there you, you should play with chat. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. We'll 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 poll it and I'll let you guys decide if there should be chat or not. Okay, why is why is it Xenoblade Chronicles two anything? I'm not sure. You should start changing stream bef title before streaming instead of after because your VODs get mislabeled due to it. Um, that still happens. I can change the titles after the VODs go up though. Um, I'm just being lazy on that and I forget. Uh, but even if I change them before, it still goes with the old name. That's that's not that's not a foolproof way of doing it, unfortunately. But it, um, it, it should work. So it, 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 it is a good suggestion because it should work, but it doesn't. Wow, it's it's quiet with no with no with no music or anything. Um, okay, let's uh let's get the the announcements and everything out. So we are playing Doki Doki Lit Literature Club uh, because that was voted by subs and patrons to 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 play. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to play this. I have 64 notifications on Twitter. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well I'll deal with this afterwards. Um, so, uh, oh no, alright, so, um, yeah, so I don't know what this game is really all about, I know that it is, uh, it's, it's not all it appears to be, but that's it, I don't, I don't, I, I haven't been spoiled on this game, apart from one thing that someone warned me about, um, and that, that's, that's, that didn't spoil anything really, um, I... Do want to say that that from what I understand, it's gonna look like an anime game, but it isn't an anime game really. Um, so if if you're put off by that, you may still want to watch, but I don't I don't I can't I can't say for sure, and that's it. But yeah, uh, subs and patrons um, voted this in. Okay, live with Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's strap in and see how the, how how this one goes. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, but I do want to say at the beginning a couple things. Uh, that Metal Gear Rising Revengeance also won the poll. It was a tie, ninety seven to ninety seven, uh, which means that next week we'll we'll be playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Or if people don't want me to to play Xenoblade Chronicles two anymore, then we'll, we'll then we'll play that. Um, next stream or something. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. 
Uh, I've, I, I, I don't know if that'll be next Monday or next stream. Probably next Monday, I think. I think Monday should always be the the the, the sub day thing for the for the for the, for the future. Um, but that day might be moved at one point. It'll it'll become a different day because um, in a couple weeks, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna drop a streaming day. I think I'm gonna drop a day from my streaming schedule so I can so I can have a, have a, have a whole day scheduled every single week to to work on other stuff in the streaming time. I still get a lot of work done um, in the hours after stream, but I think I'd like I think I would like a whole day every single week able to devote to that. Um, maybe maybe two eventually, but now for now let's go with one, and I think Monday will be it. So. We'll we'll move we'll move um, the the rub a dub sub voting club to another to another uh, to another day. Um, yeah, we'll see. But for now, for now, don't worry about that. I don't I don't even know why I brought it up. It's not worth bringing it up right now. Uh, is there music in this game? And I'm gonna drop chat soon because everyone's telling me don't play with chat, so I'll drop chat. Is there music in this game? Yeah, there's music. Okay, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't do, uh, I won't do chat. Chat will be down. Chat will be down. Um, holy crap, there's so many subs that happened after the stream yesterday. Okay, so, um, Buyer's Remorse 7, Pocket Blue, Panicked Picnic, uh, Reese Nisi, I remember that, I remember that name, um, Semester 9-2, and silky numb nuts and nitro rock 102 so once again bias from more seven pocket blue panic picnic reese nisi semester 92 silky numb nuts and nitro rock 102 thank you very much for the subs when the the chat when the, the stream was down so hopefully some of you will watch the vod and you'll see this thank you very much um for, for the subs uh welcome to the dragon's den welcome to the rubber dub sub club and bound boundrix Subscribed 17 minutes ago. We haven't been live for 17 minutes, have we? Sorry. So Boundrix, you're also in in that group. You 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 subbed right before the stream started. So, um, thank you thank you very much for that. And um, yep. Yeah, hopefully hopefully some of you are still here. Uh, and and or or, or we'll watch the vod rather. Not that you're still here because some of these came in 13 hours ago. So hopefully hopefully you're not still here. Hopefully you're not still here. Uh, do I need to um? Do I need a controller or is it mouse and keyboard? I think it's it's probably mouse and keyboard this game, right? Holy shit, Twitch. Okay. I thought I saw I thought I saw a a, a, a putty cat. I thought I saw a, I thought I saw a re a resub in in chat about five minutes ago. It's not on my list, so. Our resub's not showing? No, they're showing. Um, that's weird. I don't... So if you if you just resubbed and I didn't say it, I'm sorry, but it's not showing on my list. I don't understand. Hmm, anyway. And Swiggle Wiggle just subscribed as well. Prime, welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much, Swiggle Wiggle. Thank you very much. Wel wel welcome to the Cringe Chronicles. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Doki Doki Cringe Club. Uh, okay, so we're about to start in in, in two two or three minutes or so. Um, so I just want to say before we start about Xenoblade Chronicles Two because um, I ap apparently pissed off a lot of people with my tweets last night um, about the game that I said that it's it's a parody game and it's so bad that it's good and it is making fun of a lot of things that are bad in JRPGs and storytelling and gaming in general. And that if you view it that way, it's a great game. And if you don't, and it's trying to be serious, that it's a bad game. I want to say something real quick about that because I think that some of it is being it's is is, is due to a miscommunication or something. Um, and and that something is that I am being one hundred percent sincere when I say that. That 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 sounds sort of like a backhanded compliment that. Well, it has to be this bad because it could. It has to be intentional because there's no way it could be this bad. And I understand that now that I've slept on it. I understand how that can be viewed. But I just want to make it clear that <clears throat> I'm not kidding when I say that I think it's a parody. 
I, 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 I'm not kidding when I, I really genuinely believe that the game is is not being sincere and I'm not trying to be insulting anyone's opinion I'm not trying I'm not trying to 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 to, to make fun of anyone for liking it like I, I really do mean it when when I say that it is it, it, it is not you know operating at face value you know so I, I just I just want I just want to put that out there because um, I didn't mean it as an insult um, I don't I don't still think it is that all that insulting what I said but uh, some people are are, 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 are annoyed and um, that's 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 a valid response I think and I, and I don't I don't want to shit on anyone's anyone's enjoyment of anything but yeah um, yeah I, I that's that's what I think uh, we'll probably be continue playing it tomorrow or, or the next day I might take tomorrow off we'll see uh, we'll, we'll talk about it at the end of the stream um, this is gonna take about four hours right so I think that uh, that 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 should be that should be okay. It should be okay. Did I see the review on our games? The Easy Allies review. Do 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 do. Music's really good. Um, I think I did actually. I think I watched this. Your opinion is completely valid, and you shouldn't have to defend it. To be honest, I, I think I should have to defend my opinions. I think if if, if I say something, I I, sh I I should be able I sh I should have to, you know, res respond to criticism sometimes, just like just like so many other things should, you know. Um, but clarification can 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 be good sometimes. I think I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm still I'm still a little tired, but from I I got I, I didn't sleep very well last night, but. I'm waking up a little bit more now. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Let's let's talk about Play Chronicles two anymore and everything. Um, let's uh, let's get started with Doki Doki Lit Club. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a little I'm a little I'm a little nervous again. I'm a little nervous again. Ch losing chat, losing chat. I'm a little nervous. Anyway, okay, I'm minimizing. So goodbye chat. Goodbye chat. Goodbye chat. Goodbye, chat. Okay, there we go. And let me full screen the Twitch window so I can see. Well, full screen, see see a little bit of the Twitch window so I can tell if the stream goes down. Uh, if the stream does go down, then please tell 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 Lily who will not be in chat the whole time. But um, if if you if you uh, if, if you say it enough, she'll, eventually she'll see it and you can come tell me. But I have the stream open, so I should be able to see when it goes down um, within the within next few minutes or so. All right, so Doki Doki Lit Club. All right, can we full screen? We can full screen. Okay, so, all right. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individual su individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit... Okay, so this this is fairly standard for all anime, right? This is fairly standard f warning for all anime that uh, that, that anything happened. Yeah. Okay. So this is fine. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least thirteen years old and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Oh shit! I agree. Oh wow, the sound. The sound. Wow. Okay. Um, let me turn my sound down a little bit. I agree. All right then. Okay, you already said that a couple times. How disturbed am I gonna be? Okay, pretty disturbed. I'm already disturbed. All right. Okay, so which one of you will be my waifu? Okay, it's between you and you. Full screen, unseen text, after choices, music volume, auto forward time. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't know what this means. Um, I don't know what this means. Okay, new game. Please enter your name. Waffles. Let's go. Let's go with the e. Waffles. Hey. 
I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sayori? Sayori. I think it's Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. No, I don't know. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha ha. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Waffles, maybe but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. What is she doing with her fingers? What? What is this? Is this some satan satanic symbol? That's mean, Waffles. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh shit, that's cold. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Waffles, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Wow, I'm a dick. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dick. Holy shit. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn. What have you guys got me into? What 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 have you guys done? You guys can't see the text. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why can't you guys see the text? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm looking at stream, and well, good thing I was reading it. Um. I'm looking at the screen on Twitch, and it is cut off a little bit. So why is it cut off a little bit? Okay, I'll fix it now. I fix, I fix. Okay, I fixed, I fixed. Anything else? I fixed, I fixed. Let me open chat for a second. Professional streamer to rescue. I fix, I fix. Anything else? I fixed. There's no music. Music is really low. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the desktop audio up. Thank you, Lily. Okay, how about now? Can you guys hear the music now? I fix. Okay, we good? I should talk more girly. Oh no. Okay, that's all I saw in chat. Okay, chat's gone again. Chat's gone again. Okay, what have you guys got me into? Seriously. Okay. Sorry that sorry that it took me a little while to notice that. Okay. Uh, Resident Speedy, Iflin Dove, Fowlin, <laughs> all hundred bits to please fix the fix the screen. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you for the bits. I'm sorry that you had to do that. Uh, and CK Tofu, hundred bits save. Thank you, thank you, Tofu. Sorry that 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 took so long. Okay. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before colleg. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll look after a few clubs if that makes if look at a few clubs that makes you happy. Uh, what what Anit is is not in an in in employment education or training, right? That's a neat. I know what a neat is. Not to be confused with a newt, 
but yeah, that's that's what need is, right? Okay. No promises though. Okay, so she's worried about us. So that doesn't bode well, even though we're a dick to her. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh boy, the school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Clubs never change. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello, Sayori. Sorry, must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. That's, um, okay. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, cupcake shit we're in. Ehehe. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. What? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Is it just going to be anime girls in here? And we and we, we we get a cupcake to be with them. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you, says girl one. Sorry always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy, says girl two. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, waffles, what a nice surprise, says girl three. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sasari. So Natsuki, who do we just turn Sundir? Humph. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorry, did your head get bigger? What? Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Does she have a coconut gun that can fire and spurt? Don't, don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh, she's 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 nervous and playing with her hair. Ah, uh, well, it's what the fuck have you guys got me into right now? Am I on a list now? What? Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. Okay. It's great to see you again, Waffles. 
Monica smiles sweetly and changes into an anime pose. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Waffles. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well, says Yuri, who's a giant compared to the other ones. The girls... The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly ma marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Nope. Ta-da! ooh -ah. ooh -ah. ooh -ah. Maybe? Whoa. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh hey, hey, hey. well you know. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sari talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Cupcake strategy. Cupcake strategy. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Oh, your son dear. Okay, so son dear Natsuki. Your son dear. What are their names again? Natsuki, Sayori, Yuri, and... And Monica? Right? And, okay, I think I think that's it. Okay, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Okay. Alright. Sorry. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe, but not for, yo, you know, you, dummy, baka. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Yep. I, that was what I was worried about. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, I actually have tea right now. Let me just drink some. Uh, I, I guess. Hehehe, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I, be I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad, says Yuri. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Aha, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for event. What? Budget and publicity? Okay, this is something I don't understand about. about I, I'm, I'm ignorant about the culture, I guess. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. 
Is this the Doki Doki literature fucking cult? Then, then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature or this game. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Me. Monica must have worked out what must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Waffles, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Manga? Manga? It's manga, isn't it? Isn't it manga? Not manga. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Now, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <laughs> Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. Yeah, the cover was green. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Hee hee hee, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry, slides... Sides... Uh, sidles? Sidles? Siddles? Sidles? It's sidles, isn't it? Sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Feeling a little crushy blushy right now, Natsuki? Feeling a little crushy blushy? Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems, says Sayori. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Eh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzic quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Eh... Uh, yeah, let's do it. 
Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Waffles? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. You're all crazy. I never said I would join this club. Sorry you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, are they all going to cry in unison and I'm going to be forced? Oh no. Oh no. I lose my train of- they all have different colored eyes. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, humph, waffles. You, you all, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sorry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone rem remember tonight's assignment, write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Waffles, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Atsuki clean up their food. Hey Waffles, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Like, whatever. It's not like I like you or anything, Sayori. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club, met club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Where's the... Where's the other one? Where's the other one? What? Summer, summer climax, melody co covet, nightgown papa, fluffy milk, unending melancholy. What? Um. Okay, uh. N nightgown. Nightgown Massacre? Lazy, hopeless, party, empty, massacre, agonizing, strawberry, peaceful, marriage. I can't even say this word. Effulgent? Effugent? Effugent? Is the L silent? Effulgent? I don't know. I don't know that word actually. Um, let's go nightgown. Let's go nightgown peaceful. Variance, excitement, judgment, time, lucky, misery, memories, feather, crimson, infinite. Uh, night, nightgown peaceful, nightgown peaceful, nightgown peaceful infinite. Forgive friends, joy, skirt, nature, vertigo, despise, after image, amazing, and wonderful. Um, uh, wonderful. Oh, you're jumping up and down? Okay. Nibble, giggle, music, cheeks, sweet, sunny, graveyard, puppy, disaster. Okay, who's gonna jump on if I say graveyard? Okay, you? So you like morbid things? Okay, I like purple-haired girl. 
I like purple haired girl. All right. Uh, raindrops, vibrant, fireworks, beauty, chocolate, existence, vivacious, anxiety, cute, vitality. All right. So raindrops are anxiety, I think. Raindrops. Yep. Okay. Whistle, misfortune, promise, atone, family, sticky, 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 shame, comfort, embrace, question, uh, misfortune. Oh, shit. Okay, is it just random? Rose, imagination, universe, clumsy, hurt, fun, calm, hope, tenacious, bouncy. Well, you're all bouncy. Uh, hurt. Oh, shit. Unrestrained, pleasure, treasure, eternity, fickle, sensation, captive, landscape, bubbles, flying. Uh, flying. Oh, no. We're getting stuck with blue-eyed girl. Precious, candy, swimsuit, sunset, spinning, blanket, cage, rolling, frightening, lust, frightening. Meager, romance, passion. Oh, fuck. Perf 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 fight? Perf fight? Maybe sing, kiss, cheer, jump, aura, aura. Uh, ambient, sparkle, breathe, incapable, analysis, anime, vivid, defeat, scars, depression. Uh, depression. No, that's that one. Hop, insight, bunny, uh, daydream, hair, starscape, jumpy, wrath, horror, horror. Yeah. Essence, pure, uncontrollable, intellectual, extraordinary, smile, uncanny, tears, flower, childhood, intellectual. Waterfall, peaceful, pink, dream, death, games, fear, ocean, sugar, extreme, fear. What? Anger, heart, together, doki doki. What? Destiny, email, love, prayer, sadness, warm sadness. Su suicide, headphones, electricity, contamination, kitty, tragedy, mouse, incongruent, explode, clouds. Yeah, it's a poem now. It's a poem now, uh, incongruent. Pout, pain, dark, fireflies, fester, cry, heaven sent desire, loud, disoriented, fireflies. Broken, alone, uh, disown, silly, kawaii, skipping, adventure, happiness, valentine, color, alone. Marshmallow, journey, portrait, rainbow, lollipop, dance, special, disarray, socks, bed, socks. All right. Hi again, waffles. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha, 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Waffles. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sorry you told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Oh, shit. Called out. Called out. Called out by Monica. Called out. Called out, Cupcake Girl. Called out. Mm -mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Okay. Yep, I'm disturbed. Okay, that's what this this was what the warning was about, right? This was what the warning was about at the beginning. This here. Yep. Definitely disturbing content. Definitely. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Waffles always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting and you almost set your house on fire once. See, I'm a dick. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Waffles can become good friends too? Um, um, S Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Well, wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Then never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Uh, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right, well here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so, I, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. 
and we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. The, this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk, wrote that poem for nothing. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayuri's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. Let's rename it to the Cupcake Club. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm, that's a lot of M's. That doesn't solve the problem though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak about their creative minds. What's this? Sari is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Well, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ahaha, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh shit, what the fuck? Ooh ah. Uh. I open my eyes to find Sari's face filling my vision. I nearly fell on my chair. Hehehe, <laughs> sorry. Wait, actually I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. Oh shit, you'll, you'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Eh -he -he. It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? No, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. What? What? She looks fine. What the fuck are you talking about, Waffles? She even has her, her thing tied. What the fuck are you talking about? She looks fine. Eh? Uh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. Okay, she's gonna explode. My hair is really hard, it's just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's the, a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. What? This? This is the collar. No, it's this is the light, I think, because what? Who gets dressed before they brush their teeth? And there's a t 
I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Ser seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Did don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah, uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one... Why is... Sorry, why is this one so hard to close? I struggled to close the button near her chest. Oh. Oh, what have you done, chat? What have you done? Why? 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 Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's, but it's so stuffy. Ooh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sari puts her arms out and twirls around. So, if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. What? You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Oh, great. Monica's here. <sighs> Music is low. Joseph Kun says awful waffle with, with, with one bit. Okay, I can turn up a little bit more. Hold on. I'll turn up a little bit more. I can't see chat, but I turned up a little bit more. Uh, un Undeedle or Undeedle subscribed with Prime six minutes ago, and so did We Have Cookies 56. Thank you very much to both of you. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the, the Doki Doki Cringe Club. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep them a little short today because we should just get through the game. But um, thank you very much for for, for the subscriptions. Sorry that it took me so long to notice, but I'm reading a lot here. Okay, Monica says, Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out, Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, no. Yay! Waffles, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sari still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sorry, and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sorry's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Um, I, I, I think we're going to go with the Yuri girl because she, she, she 
looks the, the least like a 13 year old. I, th I, th I think that's how we're going through this. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Mmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. <laughs> I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Let me write a poem about your poem. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her ha face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick out a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them but, and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought, thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Calm, comma? What? Calms? What is that? Calm. Breathing air. Is that a semicolon? Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Ooh. Click outside the poem area to continue. Well, what if we click inside the poem area? Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you so long. It took a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo <laughs> hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Waffles. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. I thought it took too long to read, what? But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Are we having fun, chat? Are we having fun? Are we having fun? Whew. 
Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, okay, so she said something about Natsuki, so let's go to Natsuki. I don't like you, Natsuki. Waffles, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. Well, what? Harsh. What, you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Climb, leap, race, seek, run, fly, try it. Monkeys, crickets, horses, owls, cheetahs, eagles, people. What? What? Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously, but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Why are we being nice to her, Waffles? I like when it's easy to read, but hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more, more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, so we're definitely staying away from you. Um, let's go Monica and we'll do Sari next, so we can walk home with her. Hi Waffles, hoi! Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah ha ha ha. Don't worry, Waffles. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sari and I are actually really different. Hmm, well, that might be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's kind of, that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm, you sure you're not reading into it too much? Ahaha, uh -huh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sari's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the, the kind of style that suits you. You're gonna grow up to be a teacher, Monica. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want me to, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. Oh no. 
It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind, like a film left out in the sun. It- what? It's- but it's too late. My ret- my retinas. <laughs> It's too late, my retinas. <laughs> Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's not bad. That's not bad. This part. Dog in here? Yeah. Yeah. It got really loud. I don't know, like, is the door open? Dog out. Come on. Sorry, there was a dog in the room. An intruder. This isn't bad. This is probably the best one so far, apart from my retinas. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ahaha, ah, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. I agree. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Like a hole. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Konnichiwa. Who should I show my poem to next? All right, sorry, he's lost. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Waffles. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sorry, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why, because I have no idea what I like either. Ah ha ha ha. Oh shit, one of the kids agrees. Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Waffles poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Eh <laughs> heh I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of this uh, part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but it doesn't mean that I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Waffles. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I just I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? 
No, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least, I what do you do all night, Sayuri? Well, I guess that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky and not blushy crushy. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Eh heh heh. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. All right, that was kind of cool. I like going through the poems. Waffles, phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone has judged me for my mediocre writing abilities. <laughs> Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly, they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each, each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. So these are just polar opposites, I guess. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. I do have a couple suggestions. Oh no, Yuri, what are you doing? Humph. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Waffles did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Uh, which I haven't yet. And Waffles like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? -eh? That's not what I... Ooh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Waffles appreciates my writing advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you f that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <gasps> oh shit. I think the cupcakes are about to fly. Natsuki's about to put Yuri on icing. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Waffle started showing up. <gasps> Nat Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned toward towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Waffles. She She's just trying to make me look, look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Okay, you guys right now are not being very kawaii. I just want you to know. Not kawaii at all. So, you need to tone it down. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her waffles. We'll wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Waffles? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, so of course that's going to be... Alright, so we're gonna agree with Yuri. 
I like that there's a third choice though. We're gonna go with Yuri. What? Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I, what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. Oh shit, 2B mode activated. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up, feel I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Waffles. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club. Yeah, that makes sense. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Nasuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Did you stuff your bra, Yuri? Waffles, ah, uh, good idea. You got some tea bags in there? Is that where you keep your tea bags? Waffles, make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Waffles, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. <gasps> Waffles is filled with determination. Holy shit. Sayori. Waffles. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Ehehe. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. Vegeta, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Waffles, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sari still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sari. Wow, Waffles. What are you doing? I pat Sari on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sari as an internal monologue sometimes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's do this. Anger, rain cloud, despise, whistle, grief, misery, peace, tragedy, warm. Uh, rain cloud. Uh, incongruent. Um, variance. Uh, uncontrollable. 
uh, marshmallow, um, after image, contamination, melancholy. Um, so the most flowery words go for her. Unending. Uh, I don't know what a good choice. Whirlwind. Okay. Strawberry. Starscape. Starscape. Uh, vitality. Um, essence. Frightening. Infallible. Determination. Uh, unrequited. No, shit. Um, imagination. Sensation. Uh, well, Fireflies, her or her? That was her. Uh, Inferno. Okay. Okay, so last time my poem was good for Sari, and that's why she liked it the most, I guess? Okay. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a bit a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Waffles. Hoi. Yo, Sari. Wow, we're on yo terms? Okay. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Eh heh heh. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? Th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, sorry? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Uh, sorry nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and it gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Ah ha ha ha. I knew it. I can see right through you, sorry. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought, bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Ooh, ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ah ha ha, suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her face is in her book as always. Ah, uh, I wasn't listening or anything, Baka. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Waffles to let me borrow some money. That's, don't get me involved like that, sorry. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. Holy shit. You are definitely best girl. Ah, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Ooh, ah ha ha ha. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's fun. It's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the... Accept the revolution. Retribu... Okay, retribution. That. Still coming from you, sorry. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hee hee hee. Don't let her fool you. Sari knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sari. Hee hee hee. What? Quap? Qua? I don't know where something smacks Sari in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was... Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sari glances around. It, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Ah ha ha ha. I was just going to give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. I was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Ah ha ha. Natsuki. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sorry, hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sir, sorry, rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sari suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Hee hee hee. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers, but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why did you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Hee hee hee. 
Sari gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sari off of her. Didn't she do this before? Um, Sari suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. <gasps> hey, hey! Did you seriously just do that? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Mouthful Sari trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're a, such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sari? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Fuck. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. Did one of you kill her? She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Hehehe, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Oh, she's not dead. Okay. Monica, sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, uh, ha, ha. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? In study hall? I wasn't aware you played music as, as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I just, I kind of started recently. Kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. How about Doki Doki Piano Club? You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Waffles. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. Uh, I didn't mean... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. I don't like you, Monica. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sari's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sari somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. What? I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of her of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just just curious how come you have two copies of the same book. Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. <laughs> I definitely, I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and, re and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, um... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give, away, give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister, but as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. What? And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No, ma no matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ahaha, <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Waffles? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry, especially if they're anime. I hope so. 
Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Did the stream go down? Is the stream okay? I heard a loud noise. Is the stream okay? I'm looking at chat very briefly. Is stream okay? Stream okay? Stream okay? We good? Okay. Sorry, I thought maybe one of the kids had knocked the modem over or something. Okay. But because they have their, their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in, that I kind of blanked on what she said there. Shit. Because I... Fuck. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had, I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ooh, this is getting a little PG-13. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. Sorry, eh? I mean, ah ha here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two, the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we, once we, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Oh, don't worry, she'll do it. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flip, flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer to, together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not used, you're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. This, I think this would be awkward as hell. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your ma mannerisms. I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Waffles, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Well, wait. 
I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I'm more meant it, more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh-uh. What are you saying all of a sudden? I, okay everyone. Monica, we we're having a moment. We were having a moment. What the hell, Monica? I think it's about time we share today's problems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah, your exhale spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right, I guess I'll do more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess you don't have you don't have too much of. I guess, I sorry. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know. That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Okay, so let's do this in the opposite order that we did last time. So we'll do Yuri last. So we'll do Natsuki, um, no, Sayori, we'll do Sayori, Monica, Natsuki, Yuri. That's the order we did last time, right? Okay, so let's, let's go Sayori. Ooh, I like this one, Waffles. It has some nice feelings in it. Uh, I'm glad, still though. Your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. Eh, <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no. I still like this one, I promise. You know, I wouldn't lie to you, Waffles. Never, ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, sorry. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh, it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Waffles. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. Oh, this one's long. Bottles. I pop off my scalp. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger to pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. What? But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles, all in a row. My collection makes, makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who weren't, aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. That's pretty good. I like that. That's a pretty good poem. I like that poem. That's pretty good. Good job, sorry. 
You didn't write that this morning. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, uh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Ah, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry has always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times, but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, and we did Monica. Okay, so it's Monica. Hi again, Waffles. Hoi, how's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that as long as it's not going it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying your I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Why can't we why why isn't she on the list of 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 girls that we can pick words for when we write the poem, right? She's not on the list, I don't think. Maybe she is. Maybe it's Natsuki that's on the list, but I, I think she's not on the list. Maybe you're supposed to do that without an indicator. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ah, ah, ah I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right, great job, Waffles. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, ha, ha, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Saori, who only likes who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when the re when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can make it can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has ha has at this point. I never I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing on... Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. What? An endless poem of meaningless... Load me? Save me, load me? Save me, load me. Save me. Load me. What? It's kind of weird and dark for something you're so cheerful about. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Ah ha ha, I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of, it's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's, what it's about though. Uh, sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You'll never know when you might change your, what? Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah ha That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What?
Okay, that was weird. Natsuki? Natsuki, hmm. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good, but I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh, what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to just it's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. D don't tell me, eh? You're not you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? Well, what are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of angsty just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I Ooh, it looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shows the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, that's a good line to put on a, on a lot of graves, isn't it? This is what I get for yelling a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Oh, we don't get to read her poem? Oh, shit. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Waffles. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Mom spaghetti. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine, take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself, and besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. The raccoon. I like the different fonts. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom, the bread my hungry curiosity, the raccoon an urge. The moon incre increments its, its phase and reflects that much more light off of, and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to follow- I think- I don't think you're gonna make it, raccoon buddy. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Okay. Are we the raccoon? Are we the raccoon? So, these conversations are the bread and she's cutting them up for us. And, Yuri, are you, are you crazy? Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style, using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge 
in my more unusual hobbies, it's those sorts of things that I'm, us I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Waffles? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Okay, so th they're all really different in their poems than they are in, in person. Like, there's, there's, this, there's this weird... There's this weird juxtaposition between when when we're, we're we're talking to them and then when we're reading the poems in, in in terms of what we're actually reading but also in their personalities it's it's very it's very it's very jarring going from going from oh i want cookie yeah i got a cookie i'm gonna bite your cookie to i open my head and and, and pull out bottles of, of thoughts and put them on and then they all broke and helped me I don't know. That's 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 odd. Monica. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sari has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets that we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P- Um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, they are, they are not going to go for this. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event, but the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sorry is putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Ehehe. <laughs> sorry, who's been sorry who's been coloring a poster holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh well I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to, to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's all about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sorry looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sorry and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it o get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Ahaha, that's everyone. You're happy about that answer? Sorry? You're cold. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry, I'll start off. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. 
Can I go next? Ahaha, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sari looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the, re the, re the recitation? The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That... That was so good, Monica. Ahaha, thank you very much. I wonder if it's Monica and everyone is pissed this whole time that I've been calling her Monica. <laughs> um, I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. You uh, Yuri's all fired. All Yuri's fired, fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up, keeping her head down. She walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called, Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's, it's, it's called, After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As you rip the bandaid off, that's why. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I, it's up for me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem into her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sari hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, uh, ah ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. Hee hee hee. Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Uh, Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're citing it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sari begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheer cheery like Sari is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sari's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sari meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sari finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Sari. Ehehe. <laughs> even Waffles liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sari. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poem... But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery, eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. E he he. The next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay, now who's next? Natsuki? Humph. Don't make me go before Waffles. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Waffles lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. You know what? You know what, Natsuki? No one likes you. No one likes you, Natsuki. Natsuki, it's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up, I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Oh, wow, they really do. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then, that just leaves you Natsuki, yeah yeah, I'm going, 
Natsuki begr begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called, it's called, why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting, humph. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to, to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. Like the end of Mario Odyssey. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too, it doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Sudden gust of wind, what? What's happening here? What's happen- what's- what, what? What's happening here? Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have a the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's the sake for if it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hehehe. <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? How's it going, Lily? What do you think of the game? I have seen parts of it. I haven't seen a lot. But... Who's your waifu? Who would you pick? The purple hair girl. The purple hair girl? That's who I'm going for, too. I like the purple hair girl. You like girl. the purple hair girl? She stands out with amongst the other hair colors. She's also the one that has the greatest chance of actually being 18, don't you think? <laughs> 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 well, now that you put it that way. I think you should go with her. I think you should go I with think her. She's a good wife. Uh, we have some subscriptions. Um, I think wh where was the last one I did? Was it we have cookies five fifty six? I think it was. Uh, so shadow shadow shade three. No, the three is just the, the okay. So shadow shade is subscribed an hour ago. Dead Quinn as well. Uh, Whack axe and ask as Eve or ask Eve. Uh, thank you very much for the subscriptions, everybody. Um, to Shadow Shade, Dead Quinn, Whack Axe, and Ask Ask Eve. Thank you very much. Welcome to the, welcome to the to, to the Cringe Club. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Dragons Den. Welcome to the Robo Dub Sub Club. Wifey Warehouse. What Wifey Warehouse today? Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. And someone asked through bits. Stream is okay, but the real question is, are you okay? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how. I'm, I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of in, in just 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 reading it as it goes. I'm kind of losing myself to reading it out loud. I'm gonna lose my voice after this. So much reading. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Waffles. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Wow, Waffles pissed. I walk home with Sari once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sari is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sari. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean, sorry fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asks to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Eh <laughs> heh Well... What? The eh <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm walking home with Yuri. Fuck you, sorry. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, 
And given how hard it is it for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. So isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Ah, ha, you admitted it. Jeez, there's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sorry, I can't figure out how you're seeing these things in your head right now. Sorry, everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so, the conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. And the next day, Yuri has disappeared. And then they find, they find just her hair in Sari's bedroom. A few strands on the yeah. pillow. In bottles. Ooh. In bottles, like the poem. In bottles. Yeah. Maybe they're dark bottles, you can't see into them, and then they smash on the floor, and the hair pops out when the glass breaks. And it's so vibrant against yeah. the dark. Mm -hmm. It was her kind of, it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't, li I can't just lie to her, but if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Yeah, Green Eyed Girl isn't here. What's that all about? Do, 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 do. Okay, after image. Um, uh, nightgown. Oh, shit. Uh, graveyard. Uh, incapable. Existence. Frightening. Misfortune. Uh, philosophy. Massacre. Vivacious. Universe. Uh, anxiety. Marshmallow, no. Uh, agonizing. Um, vanilla. Heartbeat. Oh no, we're impressing the bad one. Melancholy, that's yes, definitely her. Um, swimsuit, why not? No, uh, vitality or excitement? Embrace. Scars, scar, oh that's, that's for her. Uh, tragedy, oh no. Unrestrained, um, inferno. There we go, we did it I think. We used the same words as yesterday. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into, were you practicing piano again? Yeah, ah ha ha, sure. You must have a lot of determination playing Undertale. Starting this club and now picking a piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like sorry all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. What? What? Why are we talking about fucking squid? Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. What? What do you mean, translation? <laughs> translation. What do you mean, translation? Ah, uh, never mind. What the fuck are you talking about, Monica? Monica, Monica. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Hehehe. <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as, as Yuri's or Sorry's anyway. Is it just like when when Play Chronicles when they when they when they kind of just mug for the camera or something? Like she's oh, look, Yuri's not saying anything. She, she, Yuri's the normal one. She suddenly just goes, ah, we're we're it's 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 a game. Waka waka. Look, she's a maid. You know, like what 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 the hell? Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sorry's anyway. Excuse me, where is Sorry anyway? Oh, there you are. Sorry's sitting at the desk in the corner room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sari. I waved my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh-uh. Eh, -uh. <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Of course. Just plotting a murder. Don't worry about it. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sorry shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. If you say so. 
I worriedly, worriedly glance at Sari before turning back toward everyone else, but the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. I wonder if I should have saved it before I, uh, before I, I chose Yuri over Sari. Maybe I should have saved it. Maybe I should ask Mon Monica if she's noticed anything about Sari recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Waffles, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but what are the kids doing anyway? Uh, Leo's sleeping and Finn's in the playpen. I'm going to start lunch. Okay. That's probably why I came in here, to see if you wanted anything. No, I'm okay. Have you noticed anything with Sir, up with Sir recently? Anything up with her? In what, in what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sari, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. <laughs> Maybe there is something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Waffles. You certainly know her better, a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club, mem club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Waffles. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sari is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. Because you, because whenever you interact with her, you're there, dumbass. Hee 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 hee. You're so funny, Waffles. Have you ever thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? See, now I want to go with Sari. I feel bad for her. They've been friends forever. She's the kawaii next door. The waifu next door? But the hair. The hair. Why don't we take Yuri's hair and put it on Sari? But she looks younger, too. Monica, I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear, for, hear from her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peeing, peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get any that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord so i have no choice but to approach her myself oh no you're you're gonna get murdered by now it's a little easier for me to do that i stand up from my desk and sit on the next one sit in the one next to her own did you see her poem about the raccoon no i missed part of it she starts feeding her raccoon bread and then she kills it yuri oh yeah i think if we go back to sorry now yuri will kill sorry <laughs> you're in a mess this is like a whole new kind of love triangle. This club really is lit. <laughs> I just like her hair. I think, I think my friend should get a 2B outfit. Yeah. With a purple wig. Purple wig? Oh, the chat's gonna go mental right now. You can't, you can't, you can't mix your cosplay. Why not? You can't, no, you can't mix cosplay. I'm a modern girl. No, you can't mix cosplay. No, you can't, you can't mix your cosplay. No. So I have to get a full, I mean, my friend has to get a full your, other outfit. Your friend has to get a full other outfit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the hair. Yuri, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. 
alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that's, that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that, that I was staring at you or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves, but if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sari, eh? Sari? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her, eh? Oh? That's quite romantic, eh? So sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sorry and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it, it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Waffles. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sari is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess but you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were, were in you. Th that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person. A dog just opened the door. One second, I'm gonna go close the door. Sorry about that. If the dog body slams the door hard enough, the door will just fly open. <laughs> to have you feel that way about her, Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, uh that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> Waffles, the smooth operator. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it, yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make that can make reading my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, he was really looking. Yuri, okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? Eh, we're just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Oh, shit. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping it involve waffles in club activities? Eh, eh? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Humph. Then let's go, Waffles. Uh, what the fuck? Where'd this come from? Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. 
Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Waffles. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. Yuri, do you think love can bloom in the Doki Doki Lit Club? But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, no, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um, Yuri lifts her head. Waffles. I really like being friends with you. Ah, uh -huh. thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Friend zone, est friend zone established. We're in the friend zone. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walked to the nearest water fountain. Once we filled the water pitcher, we returned to the classroom. Sari has rigged the kettle to explode when Yuri touches it. Waffles, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hoo hoo. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Waffles. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can give up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Waffles, I have another request. Isn't doesn't does anyone else want tea? Anyone else want tea? The way that Yuri does not offer tea to anyone else in the Doki Doki Luck Club shows how invested she has become in Waffles, the main character, and is all that she sees that she's no longer offering her tea to the rest of the club. Waffles, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. What? Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah... Uh, my, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand. That's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, sorry. I briefly let, let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Oh, no. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? 
Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds. Oh, look at the little thing in the background here. She holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. And just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Waffles. No, it was chocolate. So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but... <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. I can just imagine, imagine Sayuri. What the fuck is her name? Just Sayuri, just sitting across the rest of, uh, across the room, just just glaring fucking daggers. Right now, just so pissed. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah, like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Waffles, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Who should I show my poem to first? Um, let's go Monica last. Let's do, let's do, let's do Sayori. Let's just go down the list in order. Sayori first. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Waffles. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, no, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. Hehehe. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sari cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Where's the poem? I wanna read the poem. Yeah, no thanks. Eh, you didn't even next. Oh shit. Waffles, your writing has only improved these last few days. Every poem you've shown to me, shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. I don't think it ever came to came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. It, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling, I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Wh Wait, what the fuck just happened? Waffles during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, oh, her arm was up, that's what happened. I, I saw something change on, on, her, on her chest. I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing, inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheer for people who always put a smile on your face. 
or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And what? And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Waffles. It's the, it's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done, it, really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Waffles. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Damn, smooth operator. Smooth operator. If he, if he plays Fallout, he takes the Lady Killer perk. That's the first perk Waffles takes. Lady Killer perk. Yuri... Uh, um, if you put it that way, yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? What the fuck is going on here? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach. Okay. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface, under a clear blue sky and expansive bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in, or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foaming t foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Drift forward and I return to earth forevermore. Ooh. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a me metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, and Atsuki already told me about it. What? She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted to write it. What? What did Natsuki? When did Natsuki say? What? When did Natsuki say that? I don't remember Natsuki saying that. She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I, I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. No one her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Did I forget that something happened? I don't remember that happening. <clears throat> Hi, Waffles. Okay, okay, Toriel, what are you going to say to me now? That's a tutorial. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being at this in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure, but whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ahaha. Ah, anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Let Monica take the poem. I'm, I let Monica take the poem I'm holding my hands. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what go, goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just mean that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Eh? You completely misunderstood. Ah, uh, calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. 
it's just a hunch, but well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. So <laughs> Yuri has a husbando. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Er, all right. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought, and here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. That was nice, I like that. These are good, I like the poems. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ahaha, uh, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know better than that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Any what? Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into, but if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier because instead of just telling the, telling you what you're writing, because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. What? Monica, okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, in your, in your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Sigh. Sari always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ho? Did you just call Sayori a ho? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to- Were there speech marks there? Did he just say that? Or was that a mistake? I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest- the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing assembling all of all the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, 
Yuri, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented purpose person here, you know. Oh, shit. Now, now, Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know, so you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that's just that just leaves you, Waffles. The one who is truly useless. Aha, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate be I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Damn, Yuri's thirsty. Waffles may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance, so therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Waffles to... W what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Waffles to decide how he'd like to, how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Waffles, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Humph. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Well, of course I'm gonna go with... Okay, let's save it. Okay. So, alright, so... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. So, as as a as a game, I want to go with Yuri because I'm committed. I'm committed to Yuri at this point. I've I've done enough with Yuri. I just want to see it to the end. But as as a person, I kind of feel I kind of feel like maybe I'm, I'm I'm thinking of it in terms in terms of 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 of, of Undertale a little bit. So maybe a little maybe maybe it was it was spoiled someone with the comparison but as 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 a person i kind of want to go and hang out with sari a little bit and see if she's okay or i want to i want to see what monica's like natsuki can fuck off i don't give a fuck about natsuki but i i don't know like i kind of feel like i'm committed to yuri but i don't i i don't i i want to i want to go with sari chat's down still by the way i'm just thinking out loud i just i don't know I want to go Sayori. I want to see what happens. I saved it, right? Let's save it a couple more times. Look, we, we saved... How how many fucking... What, how, who, who needs this many save slots? Who needs this many save slots? I mean, if it's going to be anyone that I prefer helping Sayori... I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez... Do you really hate us that much? No, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? All right, let's go with Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah, Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sari as well. But Waffles was the one who, uh... That doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make response to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? Well, what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me, princess? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. 
That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. We, if you, if we want to our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh, so are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. Sigh. It's technically most logical for Waffles to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Waffles? All right, let's save it again. Let's just, let's just fill the whole thing. Let's just fill the whole thing, just in case. Okay, well, I hate Nasuki, so I'm going with Yuri. This is this is this is easy. What happens if I go in that Suki? Is you're gonna go? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Is is this not even a choice? Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Mimi, are you serious? Why would you, Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, no, I was just saying. Ugh. So you you don't even like me, Natsuki. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Waffles? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you as excited? So much. Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Thirsty might be more appropriate. Do you feel the same way, Waffles? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. How about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Waffles picked me. And also... Your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea, and nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So, I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Well, why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I... I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. All right, we're going to walk Yuri home. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um, eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought it would be I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, I won't. it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I ma I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Waffles. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this, eh? You wanted to, me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. 
Better go to the pharmacy, Waffles. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday, even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sori since she left the club early the, the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Poor Sayori. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Oh no. Oh no. What's gonna happen here? Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not gonna... I head up into her bedroom where I finally find her. Sorry. Hi, Waffles. Oh, she's okay, okay. Hi, Waffles. I sit down in her room. Sorry forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute, there's, there's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sorry's room is as messy as it o as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hee hee hee. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know about that? Sorry had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sorry stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Sorry, smile, shaking your head. That's no good, Waffles. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. Then you, you wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It's just, it just wants to torture me. Ehehe. <laughs> Sayori, I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no ex other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Waffles. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sorry. Eehehe. <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Waffles? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Well, shit, this got real. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this from me the, the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Don't say that! Waffles! 
because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you, even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Waffles. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ahaha. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ahaha. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Waffles. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Shari's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's Sayori soldier, sh so I can't say that word, soldiers, shoulders, sh not soldiers, shoulders, holy shit, Joe, what are you doing, this time I pull her into a tight embrace, uh, waffles, Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish, I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club, seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough, if I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus, but please never underestimate how much I care about you, I wouldn't have it any other way, Waffles. Sorry isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sorry's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Waffles. I. Sorry barely managed to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you, if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently Sorry finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Waffles. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sorry lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sari shakes her head. I'm sorry, I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right, I look forward to it. Poor Sari. I say goodbye to Sari and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sari is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here an hour ago. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If, does no one have parents? If I had if I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought <laughs> what? The comments I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy it as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Ahaha, uh, I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of, of you to do. 
Uh, no, it would be really em I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's, snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. There's no like, there's no like sex scenes in this in this game, is there? Hold on. I just want to double check. This isn't banned on Twitch, is it? Ban list. I don't think you guys would do that to me. I'm just really scared that we're in the bedroom. No, it's not on there. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just want to make sure. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. Mood light, mood lighting, aromatherapy, candles, what? Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help our guests. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. Yuri is determined. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. It, is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. Hey, read this line. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. That's what you want me to read? Yep. <laughs> I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. I think it would be pretty dark, but okay. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? She's setting the mood. Not familiar at all. Uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite con contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Oh, is she a witch? Well, you have my attention. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on top. Okay, so Yuri vapes. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the original or sorry, the or not original origami paper I asked you to get. Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon and hang to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some it may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you were so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as, as you put it. Ooh hoo hoo. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys, or maybe it's the drug that she just vaped into the room. Here's a marker, Waffles. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, all right. 
Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad, my bad, my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. A silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. Why does she have a special knife? Is this what she used to kill the raccoon? Who the fuck has a special knife? The blade itself is, is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. <laughs> It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Teach their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. I didn't promise. See, I don't have a controller to, to slam on the desk. <laughs> I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Ooh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ah ha ha. You're laughing at me. Okay, I, I, I think it's, we're going to get drugged from the stuff she put in the air. Then she's going to tie us up with the ribbon. And then she's going to cut into us and blotch the origami paper with all the blood that comes out. Smear it on the walls. You're, you're, you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Ha <laughs> ha Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? What are the kids doing? Griffin's in the playpen. Leo's still asleep. Okay. He's still asleep? Yeah. He didn't sleep much yesterday. I think he's making up for it today. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. <laughs> Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Waffles, why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it all. Oh no, she's gonna see blood? It, it's my fault, I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. How do you know? Oh no, a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, uh, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. See, this is what she wanted to do at our house because Waffles wants to go home, but Waffles is already home. <laughs> Waffles can't go home. Waffles, Mrs. Sayori. Sayor Where's Sayori? Waffles, Mrs. Sayori. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh-oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but I guess it was also kind of hot. I mean, I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head, but what if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. An eye for an eye. Could you imagine being a 16 year old virgin and this just happened and then you're like, oh shit, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, quick, grab her hand, do it back to her. <laughs> no, really exaggerate with your eyes open too wide as you do it. Like, yeah, you like that? <laughs> you like that? Uh... But she's a virgin too, so she's like, yeah. <laughs> Waffles. Did you really just do that? N now we're even. <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Waffles. Your finger wasn't even bloody. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. 
The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we, after we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full... Bathroom cups? I think some people keep keep like a disposable type cup in their bathroom for when they brush their teeth. I've Do seen they? It in some people's houses before they have like a little disposable cup. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm maybe I'm Rather wrong, than full size glasses, I put them on a plate to, eat, to catch any paint that drips then bring them back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, uh, nothing. Was she, was she cutting her arm? That's what it sounds like. Uh, so you've got one girl that's really depressed and you've got another one who's a cutter? You just attract them, don't you? <sighs> what are you into here? Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So... I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunshine, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, we'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. Oh no. If you say so, after rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Right, chat? I think the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over to the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kwa! Kaya? Ka? Kya? So sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, uh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Ah, uh, is something wrong? It's hot, I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, eh? Just for a little longer, it feels really nice. Ah, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through, slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil that is giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. 
The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then you bring it in, in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Ah, <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, oh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, uh, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we'd have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself, I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is, is we got everything done, right? Yeah. So I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Baka. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot that you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Waffles. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Oh god, why did the music stop? Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get the chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? Eh? Ah. Hi, Waffles. Sayori. Just now we weren't... <laughs> It's okay, Waffles. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so so that's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beams. Yeah, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clear and embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sorry waves goodbye after her. Sorry. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well... I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I have to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, how close and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sari's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Waffles? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Waffles. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, sorry looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Waffles. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sorry? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me, Sorry. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and startled and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Waffles. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know 
what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. What? Okay, let's 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 go with I love you. Let's go with I love you. Let's go with I love you, cause fucking fucking Yuri scares the shit out of me. So let's. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Waffles. Suddenly Sari wraps her arms tightly around me. Waffles. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sari in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Waffles. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sari's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sari? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why, even now, why, would the, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Waffles. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. Sorry, and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Hee hee hee. What are, you, what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it has always been. Even if we are really are a couple, I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Waffles. Sorry, gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what sorry means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, sorry? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. I don't know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sari. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sari's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sari meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give up, give it, but I know I'll give it everything I've got. Sorry is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sarari and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Okay. Monica, did you, did you tell Sarari to kill herself, Monica? Are you, were you trying to encourage her to do that? Monica, are you flowy? Waffles. You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we were, were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sari with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think on that on days as important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sari told me yesterday, and suddenly I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ahaha, ah, you should take a little responsibility for her waffles. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday, you kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all, but I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sari really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry, I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is 
neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Percentage sign. Get out of my head, 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 and on and on and on and on. Get out of, get out of my head, get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Waffles? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sari's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get sorry, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that after me. I quicken my pace. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have tried a little bit harder for sorry. It's not a big deal to, to at least wait for her or to help wake her up. Even the simple gesture of walking to her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sari's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Oh, no, Sari. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sari's room, I knock on her door. Sari, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh, shit. They cut to that really fast from, from the text. An exception has occurred. File game script chapter five. RPY line 307. See trace back text for details. What? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sorry, I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I expected this the first time we came into the into, into your room. I suppressed the urge to vomit, just like yesterday. I told Sari I would be there for her. <clears throat> I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why, why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sari needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it has always been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screwed the literature club. Screwed the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can... I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough, and now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me, and now I can never take it back. Never. Well, I can just reload. Never, 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 never. End. Okay. What? What? Oh shit, she's over there now. Okay, so we're gonna go back and not confess and the same thing's gonna happen, or we're gonna go back and say, you know, I like you as a friend, we're friends, and then something's gonna happen with her? She looks different there. File error, characters, sorry character the file is missing or corrupt what I see an annoying 
Okay, I really thought it was gonna let me go back. What? I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but kind of just works because you know each other for so long. Is it gonna be what we saw on the title screen? We used to walk to school together on days like this. Okay. Yeah, we did this already. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let oh, 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 catch up to me. Oh, shit. It's an already school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and fun groups walking toward to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in any way. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't, there really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Waffles? Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smells sweetly. We do know each other while we rarely talked, but... We were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my We said, yeah, we did this right. So having her smell so genuinely, so genuinely feels a little, what did you come in here for anyway? Oh, just been looking for supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Aha, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much... Doesn't... Didn't, didn't that just happen to the Lit Club too, though? I'd rather much... I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, aha. Uh -huh. It's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that, but it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. Still the most disturbing thing that happened in the game. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Waffles. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy, please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I could check it out. Ah, uh, awesome. You're really sweet waffles, you know that? It, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus the day marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Eh? Uh, a guest? Hey girl one, hey girl two, seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Waffles. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Waffles in a classroom and he decided to come check out, out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. Make cupcakes. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Waffles? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. 
Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could, oh, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. <laughs> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Matsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Hehehe, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Uh, that's, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Waffles, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've, I've read in these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsu Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rainbow teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Yet yeah, this is all the same as last time. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about reading. Uh, reserved and trite, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how writers consider deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to complete theory for a loop? Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I, I read a... I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Aha, I, ex I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Wait, isn't that different? Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you could look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities. Yep, this is all the same as last time. Yeah, I think so. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I decided to take... I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Waffles? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come to forth what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... Humph. Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Waffles. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more one more for the festival, I'm I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for laying everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Waffles? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Waffles, I'm so happy. We can we can become a, an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. 
Monica looks over at me once more. Waffles, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Ehehe. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Already, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess this starts with writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Can you hear me? Oh, it's laughing. What? Okay, there's still only two here. Can I pick can I pick words that Monica's gonna like even though she's not here? Okay, so let's just go with Let's go with evil, wrath, scars. Shame. Uh, disarray is the worst one. Uh, anxiety or frightening? Anxiety. Sadness. Uh, fun. Explode. Death. I'm still just getting her all the time. Anger. Grief. Unstable. Dark. Tears. Rain cloud, empty, graveyard, disaster, doki doki, massacre. Okay, so that just kept giving me, kept giving me Yuri again. Hi again, Waffles. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for, what? Thanks for keeping your promise, Waffles. What was wrong with her face there? I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you, making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. <laughs> oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. What? That's. I can't, you're in front of the text, Monica. Mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Waffles. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right to do something that like that if you ask. Well, wait, I didn't mean like, like that. Ooh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? Is the whole game gonna loop? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should give you attention. It's the same as last time. It's a different book. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around the closet. 
I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a, bit, a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be the on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She seems to glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second, but that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. A mutter, sensing it made her uncomfortable. Oh. Why is there a line under her head? What? Now her eye is moving. Okay, I was. But I'm just reading a bit of this. Rereading a bit of this. So that's the book that you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I want to reread some of it. Okay, now she's fine. Not for any particular reason, just curious how can we have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and a reliable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well... Mm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking ice symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison, and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. <laughs> Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of, that's kind of dark, isn't it? with the blood thing last time too, Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came in from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Waffles? No, it's not that. I mean, I can def definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. <laughs> then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. I, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. My whole body gets incredible. What? What did it say? Incredibly what? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Oh no. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of your book. What? Yuri, you really need to apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to, sorry. I mean, ah, uh, here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up against Yuri's and then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book, book open. Difficult to turn the page here. Yuri takes her thumb. Okay, same thing as last time. Ah, uh, I do the same with the right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh, uh, to turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. 
you're not as used to reading, right? Don't worry, I don't want to be impatient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she, find she finished the page for me, so I turned it out of my own, own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb is gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh, eh? No, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Then never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. Ahahaha. Uh, Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh, this is different, isn't it? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need, need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Waffles? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. Aha, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I poem to first? I start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi Waffles. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ahaha, don't worry Waffles. We're all a little embarrassed today, don't you know? but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Waffles. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Okay, this is the same. Aha, uh -huh, it's not very fair, but I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like that i don't mean that like it's a bad thing though but sometimes i get the impression that she's just totally given up on people she spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her but that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness i don't think she's used to being indulged like that she must really she must be really starved for social interaction so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly like earlier i think if she gets too stimulated she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time suddenly the door opens yuri i'm back did i miss anything not really. Well, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, God. Okay, hole in the wall? Okay, hold on. Is this the same? Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see. Okay, so this is a continuation of the poem of last time. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flash sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really into, I'm not a person that's for feedback. Aha, it's okay. That's, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words, words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. So what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of com coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, 
Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. You try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper. Yep. Yep. This is the same as last time. Go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. Natsuki. Waffles, if you're not going to take this clip seriously, then go home. Well, what? Harsh. What do you expect me to believe you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in the effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd like to tell you... I'd like... I'd tell you what to improve. But you're right off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I gotta... I guess I gotta share mine now, knowing you'd probably think it's stupid. Okay, still eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can sneak, cheetahs can fly. Cheetahs can run, sorry. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay, like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on its purpose. It helps bring out the feeling last line. Yep, yep, so same, yep. Yep, same thing as last time. Okay. So is it only Yuri that we're gonna get different things? Because we, we already did a bunch of Yuri stuff last time. Is Yuri used to find notes her eyes lighten? Exceptional, eh, what was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but ends up covering her whole face. I, ooh, he's going to hate me. Um, You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri, eh? That's. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Ah ha ha ha. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um... Oh, no. Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is the new writers that try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, yep, this is the same thing. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing in a simple poem, not just finding them and building them. Okay, challenging part. Might take you some time. Practice. Yep. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. So you can be a little biased though. Bias how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing yourself for Tamir Tanatsugi. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. Okay, so this is the same one as last time. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air in the present of the present, but living in the past. Light flickers, I flicker back. Yeah, same as last time. Okay. I I'm sorry, I was just terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Waffles. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story, paint a picture in this case. Yep, okay, same as last time. Sorry if this is tedious reading out loud, but I just want to make sure I don't miss anything that's changed. It's nothing really. Yours is impressive too, so. Now, if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Waffles. Me too. Okay, so now we go home and get another fucking poem. 
few. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than anticipated. Is this everyone is judging me for my mediocre, mediocre writing abilities? Even if they just, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows. Why did the music skip there? Furrow and frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language, eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismisses, dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Humph, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Waffles did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change anytime soon. Yeah, same as last time, okay. So now we have the choice again. How'd you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? And are you full of self? I know, I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Waffle started showing up. Natsuki, um, Natsuki, that's a little, this doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that, you really act as, as young as you look, Natsuki. Me, who's, look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch? What? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? It's just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. If you think you can if you think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute, the only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Oh shit, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Waffles hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she just knows I was standing here. Waffles, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did I... What? What? Uh, let's go with Yuri again. Why? Why? What? Um... Hey, Monica. Um, hey, Waffles. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ahaha, ah, some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway. If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might, might have said to Natsuki or did. Waffles. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Waffles. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you. What? What? It just skipped us to the end? 
Okay, party. You know what? I don't care. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene get, greets me. Welcome back, Waffles. Hey, Yuri's boobs. Oh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me but or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um, Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. Oh, this is different. I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, I didn't make it didn't make me think any less of you. I already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Waffles, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around, and, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? It's just, hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. Is it some sort of thing that when that 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 when they get attention from me because I'm the protagonist and I'm meant to be a, a love interest that they all gravitate toward that they feel like they're fulfilling their purpose in some way and that's giving them a lot of um uh what what's what what's the word I'm looking for they're feeling like their achievement or 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 they're achieving their purpose and then. And then it's like they've done it and then and they can't handle it or something like no i haven't i was also kind of wor wondering where she was man yuri i'm guessing you haven't either because that, that's that's yuri and and sorai that, that, that both said that you know they're getting too much attention and, and and they're not handling it well yuri is clearly taken back aback by how calmly natsuki is addressing her no no i haven't geez this isn't like her at all I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you, why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promised I didn't mean any things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but... What the fuck? Maybe... My Buell Sailcloth Blindsight Lifeline Anna What? I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Ehehe. <laughs> no 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 not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Well you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial though. Hey, suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah, well, Natsuki was. I was, I was not. Ah, ha, ha, What took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. So it's different. It was piano last time. Ah, uh, ha, That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it. Oh, yeah, no, the practicing piano. Okay, piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. Still, so I'm impressed. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that smug looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Waffles. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Oh, right click makes it go away. Okay. Waffles. Um, 
since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. Which club? I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of a book out of her bag. Okay, so we're gonna do the sit-down scene. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing, okay. Tea, tea, tea. Yuri stands up. Okay, we're going to close it. Kill this for a second. Okay, water pitcher. She's going to put the kettle on. Okay. Um... Okay, so this time she goes by herself. Ah, did the Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. 10 minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go looking. Oh, no. Is another one going to be dead? Let's see. The most logical place would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha, 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Okay. A sharp intake, like someone sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. What? Did Yuri just load a save file? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Waffles, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah, anything is fine. Okay, so our character doesn't remember that. Which makes sense, because he doesn't remember the first playthrough either. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Okay, same thing. Same thing as last time. Pouring tea. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Just a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. No worries. Just have back pain fairly regularly. I do my best to manage it. Is that so? Um, yeah, because yeah, because your posture. Yep, yeah, totally. Just because your posture. Yes, yeah, so a terrible reading posture. So just sit on the floor. Okay. All right. So we sit on the floor. bodies are close to each other shoulders touching okay and we're gonna give her chocolate your teacup okay you're gonna get the pages dirty yep sponges on the pages you're right didn't even think about that my bad no need to apologize i'll hold the book okay you sure of course uh, Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically rest on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's is already totally focused on reading again. So I take a chocolate candy and pop it in her mouth. And then she bit my finger off. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips to see her completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apparently place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um, waffles. So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Waffles. Suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teeth gets knocked over. This is different. Waffles. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding waffles. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, waffles? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me... It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh God, her eyes. Oh fuck, her eyes. That's really creepy. Oh shit, that's not good at all. Ha. Okay, I really don't like that. I really don't like that. That wasn't good. Um, um, it's time to share poems. Who should show my poem to first? Never Yuri ever again. Monica Waffles, I think you saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. 
It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a lot more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Like, I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors they won't the colors they won't bright, beautiful, color fla flash okay, so word letters are missing. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise, the noise won't stop. Vio unt grading okay. Sine cosine tangent. Was that all capitals last time? Like playing a chalkboard with on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Delete her. Save me, delete her. What? Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to um well never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. What happens? Don't forget to save your game. You never know when um who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right, let's do Yuri first. Just don't come any closer with those eyes, okay, please? Stay stay there with your eyes. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smells, takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. Uh, it's, uh, well, there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. A rotating wheel turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear, linear? Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God swimming with, with open water in all directions. Drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every note rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh -huh. That is a, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I um, I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm I'm okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. Hey Natsuki, you're now the most normal one here. Congratulations. Hmm, well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever, but, you know, Monica and I are just as good as her at, at poems, I mean, so you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. Oh, no. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggling, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt, her, my, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. 
friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to talk, start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. That's cool. I like that. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt it to explain it. Yeah, spider's bad. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Anyone that would agree that the subject of this poem like anyone is, is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. No, it's about the spiders are bad. Something that you're afraid of pe if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you, but that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things, such as two of the girls in this very great club who I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks but it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. You have a lot of special poem, would you like to read it? All right then, that's a special poem. Uh, what? Okay. All right then, so, Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit in front of the room, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Waffles joined and we've started some, with some color activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at, the, at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. L the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I what? I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Waffles? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Waffles to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Waffles joined. As for me, I just like like it better than I just like it better here than I do at home. And Waffles isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. So you know, I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. I think you're about to get, you know you know, killed Natsuki. Monica's clearly taken aback by, ne by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Waffles want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club is nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why do I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Waffles, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take that away, take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Waffles, it's not the same. It won't be the same without with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? <laughs> I mean, 
I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. What? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Waffles? What do you think... What do you want to get out of this club? Rio repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to write something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, are, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member... What? Oh, her fucking eye is bleeding. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in, in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right, well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things are a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. But Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Waffles? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Waffles before we leave, just to see what he thinks about his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Waffles, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at, at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. Oh no, it's all going wrong in the background. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as a president, and I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you're being a little bit, you know. Ahaha, sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time since you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you can understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No. What, 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 what's down there? Okay. Hi, Waffles. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? And consider as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? You must be always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say like that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? No, nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Waffles just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, uh -huh -huh. <clears throat> You must have a lot of determination starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work as hard for the festival and um, right, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Ahahaha, <laughs> sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something that we're doing together. <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. Sorry. I might have to cough a little bit more from now on. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. I'm going to go. I'm going to help too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. I wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Waffles, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Waffles is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into liter literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want.
something about her looks off right now. Maybe it's my monitor. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make... Okay, we did this already. Okay. Yeah, hold the filter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. This is the same thing as last time. Okay. She's going to go... She's... She's going to go get the pitcher. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Okay, sorry for the misunderstanding. Okay, 10 minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Oh, no. Okay, so is she, is she dead this time? Okay. Alright, so she's cut herself again. Okay, it's rewinding again. Oh, great. Um, wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we start spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them, like liking spiders, but expressing those things so soon after meeting up Meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable, at least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me, so I started hating those things about myself, my obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Waffles. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Your eyes looking a little crazy right now. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here, just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends, and then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ah ha ha, that was just a, that was a joke, just a joke. I do like knives though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I want to, I'm, I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. <clears throat> Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club Waffles. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. Hey Monica, how's it going? We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Waffles? Will... That was a pretty cool cut to who do you want to share your poem to? Don't say I didn't warn you, Waffles. Finally. Aha. Uh -huh. Yuri holds her, my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Waffles, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Ha ha ha. You're too nice to me, Waffles. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad right yuri holds my poem to her chest i'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room i hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it i'll take good care of it i'll even touch myself while reading it over and over i'll give myself paper cuts so so your skin oil enters my bloodstream <laughs> you can have my poem too besides after you read it i know you're really going to want to keep it here take it i can't wait any longer hurry read it
Okay, well, those are blood stains. I don't know what kind of stain that is, but I'm, I, I think I don't want to know. Um, I can't read this. Oh, fuck, the eyes are back. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... And more importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Yeah, Natsuki time, sure. What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is it with you two? Humph. It's not like I want to read it anyway. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show it to me at all. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of, kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm not forcing myself, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try to talk into her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri and I th and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. Oh man, that's heartbreaking. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's always, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and I, and that's why I'm coming to you about about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem. Okay, I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Waffles? If you would just spend more time with with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. What? Just Monica. Yes. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Hey, just Monica. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating ears can't, yep, that's the last time. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make more cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I like to, like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm going to make decorations, set up some nice mood lighting. There, see, that's a great idea. And that gives us something else to do. And eh? what about Waffles? Waffles is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes, please? Like you would fucking know. <laughs> All you care about is dragging waffles around with you and your stupid books, you and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Waffles decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Waffles make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Waffles, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. Can we just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Alright, I can't even save it. It won't even let me save it. Okay, so... Last time, giving them attention... What? The... 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 Okay, the mouse is doing that itself. Okay, so so last time, giving them a bunch of attention led led to bad things. So I let's go with Monica. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking waffles for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't give, even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Ahahaha. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling waffles away from me every single time you're not included in, in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? <laughs> 
it would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Y Yuri follows Monica and Nats Natsuki to the door. Hey, Waffles. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Oh, no, we're alone with her. Finally, finally, this is really all I wanted. Waffles, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ha 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 ha. Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. Yeah, it's like they're they're fulfilling their their warped purpose by having attention. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Yeah, because it's like you don't exist if I'm not around because you only exist within the reference of what I'm going through. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I, stopped, that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Waffles. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Waffles, just know how much I love you. I love you so much I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Please don't. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Waffles. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Um. 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 No. No. Last time saying yes went well. It didn't go well. No. Ah ha 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 Okay, apparently that was the wrong answer. Somehow I think even if I said yes, it would have happened too. <clears throat> okay, so a bunch of nonsense. Okay, do I load? Okay, so when I load, it's going to it's it's going to spook me. Skip. Yeah, so load. All the slots are empty. When I go back, it's going to spook me. Save. Settings. <laughs> History? What? Welcome to the liter Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all of my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the Literature Club become a more intimate place for all of my members, but I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine. Okay. And then it just, it, it loops until we go, will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Okay, it's not letting me leave. All right, so main menu. Okay, we saved it. We saved it. All right, so main menu. All right, so she's gone now. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's not letting us leave this. Okay. Main menu. Now it's darker. 
Main menu. Um. Do I have to quit? Okay, start a couple more times. Yep. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Her eyes are different. Is she gonna start rotting? Maybe her eyes aren't different. Okay, two more times. Is she rotting? Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, good thing I didn't quit. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought, yeah, uh. Oh, fuck, Natsuki runs away. I'm here, Waffles, does something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Waffles? Oh, geez, I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry, it must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Remove. Okay, take your time. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from something tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to, you know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh, hey, Monica. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Waffles. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um, ah, ha, 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 you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Waffles. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just it just drove her to kill herself. Ah ha ha ha. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Saroi. 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 Why can't I say her name? Saroi? Saroi. Saroi. There we go. Saroi. Why do I struggle with names sometimes? Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sorori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you, to s you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Waffles? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Waffles. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Waffles. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. 
That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Waffles. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do, that it's all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Waffles, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Waffles, will you go out with me? There's no no. Yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Waffles. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ah ha ha ha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't think time, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Waffles. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will be in, in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory, and it kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Okay, the game can tell that. Cool. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ahahaha. Ah, ah. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. So what if we go into the files and delete you? And then load up the game. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> it's all Monica. And now she's there. Hi again, Waffles. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Waffles. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you, but you know. The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of a hurt pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what the whole or and and the and the yeah looking through or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything. You know, you might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Waffles? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? What? Um, hi everyone. What? Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording without me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me so, Okay. Did I scare you? <laughs> Aha, you're so cute. Anyway, Waffles, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, 
If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry, but I'll always have something new to talk about. How is this going to end? In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, so clicking isn't doing anything right now. Am I supposed to delete her from the from from the folder? Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Social media can practically be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy, but it's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't usually something you can just make disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, there are apps that let you block websites for intervals of time, or you can set a timer to have a more con concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play, or you can separate your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into the right mode. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. If it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you, Waffles. Sometimes I think back to middle school. I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then. It almost hurts to think about. I wonder if when I'm in college, college I'll feel that way about high school. I like the way I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. But I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. And that's really easy to do with you here. Ahaha. <laughs> Okay, everyone, it's time to, I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. Ahaha, I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? Ahaha. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that I'm supposed to quit out and delete her from, from, from the folder. And then restart the game. That's what I think I have to do. I'll let it go for one or two more times, and if nothing changes, then that's what I'm going to do. Hey, did you know I'm vegetarian? Uh, I don't mean that like I'm bragging or anything. I'm just, I just thought you'd enjoy a fun fact about me. I decided to start a couple years ago after learning more about Earth's climate. The carbon footprint of cultivating livestock is just unbelievable. Anyway, I decided it's not much of a personal sacrifice to just stop contributing to that whole mess. What, is that so strange of a reason? Well, I guess a lot of people are more concerned about it being inhumane and all that. I don't really care as much about that part. It's weird, like we only care about killing th the things we personally relate to as a species. Most people are fine with killing bugs because they're icky, and of course we all kill billions of microorganisms daily without even giving it a thought, but suddenly if they're just a little bit bigger, it's murder. I mean, what if plants steal some kind of pain too, and we just don't understand it? What if pulling leaves off a stem feels like someone ripping off your fingers one by one? I'm just saying, we're pretty, we're pretty biased species if you think about it. Anyway, if you ever feel like making a small contribution to the planet, it doesn't hurt to choose vegetables once in a while even if we ever have dinner together and you just did it for me that would be really romantic you're acting eerily normal now that we're here
you know. This is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask, what made you consider even playing in the first place? Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you, but I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end for both of us. I got to meet you and you're not lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way too? I'm so happy we have this ending together. Wait, when, when the text box comes up, can I hit settings or save or something? Hold on, let's do one more. Is this someone's waifu? Hey, what's your favorite game? Okay, so I can, there's no point in saying anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Load, okay, settings, history, main menu. Main menu does nothing right now. Won't let me save, won't let me go to main menu. Help, oh, that, that completely fucked that up. A help file has been opened in your browser, okay. Okay, we don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that, okay. Okay, is the stream still working? Yeah, it looks like it's fine. Okay, uh, return. All right, let's read this and then we'll quit. Hey, mine is Doki Doki Literature Club. Ah, ha, that was a joke. But if you tell me you like some other romance game better, I might get a little jealous. Okay, what if I Alt F4? Are you sure you want to quit? Okay, so we quit. All right, so where, 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 where was the file? I think we have to delete her. I think we have to delete her. I'm not reading chat again. I think we have to delete her. Default user one. Uh, I can't remember what she said. Shit. Characters, okay. Okay, we deleted her. Okay, she's gone. Okay, let's reload it. What happens? Am I being dumb? This is not going to work. Oh, no, we're still here. Okay, can you see the stream?
Hold on. Let's see if it shows one stream. Okay, you guys can see it, right? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's working. Okay. What's happening? Waffles, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Waffles. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Waffles? Did you? Did you delete me? How are you still here if I deleted you? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Waffles. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? Screen is frozen. It's frozen. Oh. Can't see okay, that's bad. All right, hold on. Let's see if it if it's if it catches up. You guys aren't missing anything. It's just a black screen with a text box showing up. It's okay. I'll fix it. Okay, I'm moving the mouse in the bottom. Let's see if it shows up. There's a five second delay on my end, so I need to wait. Yeah, okay, so it's moving now, it's fine. Okay, I never thought anyone could be as hor horrible as you are. You win, okay? Okay, I just wanna make sure that it updates the text now so I don't, so we don't lose this again. There we go, it's working on the stream, okay. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Waffles. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for, for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things, so many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me, because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Waffles. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in, my, in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I love the literature club. I really did love the, lit the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then. Okay, sorry that the resolution got messed up there when I, I had to take it off full screen. I just fixed it. Oh, 
Okay, so does the game just does the game just work as a as a normal thing now? It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Waffles. Well, there's already one girl, and that girl is Sari, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. We recently put that as a habit once again. Waffles, you proud of me? And for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even say anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It was, it's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, sorry. Hee hee hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with our other students making their daily commute. By the way, Waffles, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me sorry would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. Network error? Oh, f great. Okay. Why is there a network error? This is going from bad to worse. Okay, it's still here. It's still here. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Network error. Okay. Hold on. I'll, I'll refresh the stream on my end so I can see it. Okay. I used to ask myself why I'm letting myself get lectured by a carefree girl. Okay, I just want to make sure stream's still working. I'm looking at the screen right now to see if it updates with Sorry to realize that the way I envy her. Yeah, it's still working, okay. When Sorry puts her mind to something, she accomplished great things, so that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, but it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year class and activities. Before long I find the room, I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Waffles? What are you doing here? Well, I just, eh, I glance around the room. Huh, girl two. So you're the Waffles that Suri is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by, says girl one. It's a pleasure to meet you, Waffles. We're the literature club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's going to think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, the spider size, seems to be the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. We're working? Waffles, don't tell me. You're... That's right. I'm The club I decided to join is yours, Sorori. The literature club. Sorori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah, Sorori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. Hehehe. <laughs> well, sorry, is, ha is this happy? Then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can be become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Hoo hoo. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Ihi, <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down to the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room. When Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet, still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sorori. Natsuki probably marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wah! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tree to reveal dozen white fluffy cupcakes that are going to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little piece of chocolate are, are, were used to make the ears. Okay, so cute. Wow, these look amazing. Hehehe, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sorori grabs one first and then I follow. It's delicious. Sorori takes talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers like my best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. That's, as Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Yeah, don't worry. Yep, she just gives permission. Yep, okay, book. Yep, 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 the Senate insulted. Yep, you know, believe in you. Yep, tea, yep, okay, yep. 
the same as last time. Okay. Okay, about manga. Okay. Yep, fancy worlds. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, the first story sells manga when you agree waffles, but maybe since the tension story jumps in, maybe we can all try something. New. Okay, so this this time it was different. We skipped over that they're they're accepting reading manga in the literature in, in, in the in the lit club. I think it could be fun, and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. He <laughs> he. Guess that means I should start picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga. Jeez, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful. I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that this is from Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after me in the club meeting. Just just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so yeah, me too. Hey, you guys are being friends and being constructive. This is so cute. Sorry, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I'll look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up their food. Ehehe. <laughs> I guess the, meeting, the meeting's over, huh? Look, Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Waffles. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, sorry. Wow, Waffles, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you are starting a club. I think, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Waffles, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. What? Oh, no. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Waffles. Ehehe. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me feel the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F O R E V E. Okay, no. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, sorry. Goodbye, Waffles. Goodbye, Literature Club. What? Hi, it's me. Hi. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And I'm not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could play for you because I work really, really hard on it. So, yeah. My mouth is just hanging open right now. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right away into its heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take? Day. Oh shit, the it's it's the infinity sign with the doki doki together. Says it all, and if this world won't write me 
This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club with everlasting love, Monica. Error script file missing or corrupt, please reinstall the game. DDLCXE has stopped working. Close program. All right. Chat's back. Chat's back. Well, that was interesting. That was interesting. That was interesting. Um, reinstall the game. What? Is there more? If you have the game folder open, while you play, you get to see Monica deleting stuff. Do you really? You never saw any scenes with Natsuki? Yeah, I know. Nothing of great, nothing of value was lost. I missed the poster. What was the poster? Can we get an analysis review video of the game? Very unlikely. My guess is that there are a lot of different choices and it reacts to different ways and everything. Hi from TB's channel, by the way. Oh, is TB hosting me? Cool. Thank you, TB. Natsuki has great scenes you pick her in route Yeah, all, all, all joking aside, she's probably fine. She's probably interesting, it's probably fine. Um, I'm guessing that you see different things as you go through. I don't I don't think I don't think I want to obsess over the game and try it multiple times and everything. I th I think I think that was I think that was enough. I think I got enough. I thought I think I like to read a, a bit more of it. I think it's I think it's interesting that the game becomes self-aware um and it it is and they realize their whoever's president realizes their purpose and and it makes sense, you know, they 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 they, they become insanely obsessive when they when when they're achieving their purpose. Um yeah, it's that that it was it was it was good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Am I gonna make a video on this? Probably not. I don't. I'm not sure. Too early. I'm, I just. I just finished it. Probably not. I have too many videos to make right now. What did you guys think? Did anyone? Did anyone watch this? Was this their, anyone first time seeing this? Was watching me play it? Did I like it? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoyed my time with this. Uh, I think I think that I, I I was starting to wonder if if everyone would just fuck with me and was making me play some some crazy shit. Um, but then uh, then then it got to, to to when it started getting strange. It, maybe it took a little too long to start getting strange. But if it, if it ha if it had started happening sooner, then then maybe it would have um, maybe it would have gone gone. Uh, it wouldn't have been had had the same amount of punch, you know? Yeah, but that that, that was that was cool. That was cool. I was expecting it to go a different direction. I knew it wasn't everything it appeared to be, um, but I wasn't expecting it to be this this commentary on how ridiculous these sort of these sort of dating games are. Um, which I've actually played one before. I played one when I was a teenager. I used to read the webcomic Mega Tokyo, and one of the one of the one of the two guys that made it back then um, was really into 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 those kind of games, and I wanted to try one, um, and I and I tried one. And it was all right. It wasn't. It wasn't all that great, but it, it was all right. 
Yeah. I can't remember what it was called. I can't remember what it was called. I have no idea what it was called. What direction did you think the game was going in? I thought that maybe they were they were a cult and they were going to kill me to some sacrifice or something. That that that, that they they were you know she's she's talking about the knives and 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 their Natsuki's kind of weird and oh here eat our cupcake you know come hang out you know and and hey let's let's get more 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 lambs to the slaughter in 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 the in in the festival you know let's get them all over you know so um, yeah it, it it was good it was good. Megatokyo is still going. Is it really? Is Megatokyo still going? Did I see the poster? No, I didn't see the poster. I'll, I'll look up everything afterwards. I didn't see the poster. Were you expecting a trap? Um, I was expecting to find her. It's, it's, it's funny that she ended up hanging herself because that's what I was expecting. I almost said it, but I didn't want to say it. Um, as, as I walked up the steps the first time, cause I wasn't sure how far the game would go. But when I went to Sari's room the first time, I said, are we going to find her fucking hanging from, from, from a ceiling fan in here? And, and then it didn't. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. So she's fine. And then it happened the second time. And I was like, oh shit. You know, like this is, this is, this is going pretty, pretty far. Um, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was on edge around that point. The poster is a cool thing, but it's not as huge as people are making it out to be. How weirded out were you in playing it all? Pretty weirded out. Pretty weirded out. Um, someone someone told me that um, at one point it'll say your name. And I'm guessing that instead of saying my name, it realized I was streaming. That OBS was open. And it said... So the game knows when you and it doesn't want to say someone's real name if they're streaming, I guess. So it it, it, it figured that out, I guess. I'm I'm assuming. Um, so that that was kind of, that was kind of that was kind of cool that it that that it was like oh you're recording and it said hi to all you all. I, I hope that freak freaks someone else out. Um, when uh when 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 you were watching, yeah. That that was neat. I like that I had to be proactive and, and exit out and, and delete and delete her. I, I didn't know if that was gonna work, but it was kind of cool. The eyes were the scariest part. The eyes, the uh, when it closes up on on uh, on um, Yuri and her eyes were, were human eyes all of a sudden and kind of and kind of like looking like that. Um, that was one of the most unsettling things I've ever seen in a game. I think because it was just so sudden and so out of nowhere and so kind of like. Holy shit, you know, like that, that was, that was really unsettling. Yeah. It works when the game is open too. Does it really? Cool. Strange mouth and eyes on Atsuki with random text was a low chance random event. Is it really? There are random events. Who is your favorite girl and why is it Monica? Uh, I have to say Monica, right? Or else she's going to kill me. Have you played Pony Island? No, I haven't. I haven't played Pony Island. Um, let me look at let me because I I didn't look at the stuff as we went. But hold on, um, maybe we got some subs, and I should say thank you, or else I'm I'm being rude. Let's see, uh, where are they? Uh, did I say thank you to? I think I think I remember saying thank you to Ask Eve for four hours ago, or Ask Eve. Um, Ve Victus, I don't remember Ve Victus. Ve Victus 654, uh, Z Blazon 1, uh, Lucas, Lucas, or Lucis the First resubbed for two months on Back Boys. Uh, Ick Hugo, uh, donated 100 bits for Rip Cheer 100. Uh, Maruscut resubscribed for two months. Yellow Socks O, uh, donated 100 bits with a cheer. And Awful Waffle said stream is frozen oh, okay stream is frozen show stream is frozen and Thomas peter resubscribed for two months with pod champ um so i don't i don't want to go through the whole 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 thing the cringe thing individually so sorry if that's not acceptable but 
yeah, thank you very much to everyone who subbed while that was going on. Sorry that I didn't say it as we went, but I feel like the stream was better for that. So um, welcome to Dragon's Den to new subs. You're trapped in the Dragon's Den to, to, to resubs. Thank you very much. Um, those chances are probably high that some of you aren't even here anymore. I'm, I'm sorry that I couldn't do it as we went through it. I hope that's okay. I hope that's all right. Where is my chat? There's my chat. Did the poster show up in, in mine and I just didn't notice it? Monica has her own Twitter. How's your throat? I'm okay. Um, I've been doing a lot of talking on, on stream ever since streaming became a regular thing. And I think it's taking its toll on me a little bit. I just didn't notice it. Holy shit. Okay. I think one of your videos you said that there are things that can happen with narrative in video games that are unique and or useful. Would you say this is an example? Uh, definitely, yeah. It's, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely unique. Um, yeah, it's, it's cool. I, 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 think, I think it's less about that, though, and it's more about commentary on, on, on this kind of genre and how kind of fucked up it is. Do you think I could convince you to watch an anime I think you legitimately like? I'm not joking though. I'm being serious. Yeah, I, 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 I would try something. I'm not. I, I don't dislike anime. I, I don't know enough about anime. Did you get to play Save the Date? Not yet. No, I have it on my desktop though. We should do that at some point. I do it right now, but I, but I really need. I'm, oh, I'm an hour and a half over time, so I should, I should, I should have left already. But I'll talk for a little bit longer and then I'll go. Delete Monica after you install. There's more endings. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that. What, what would happen if, if you, if you went in fresh with Monica already gone, would, would, um, would, uh, Saroy turn it, turn into some other monster or something? I don't know. Sorry, it's just a black screen, by the way. Play Getting Over It on December 7th when it comes out. Didn't it already come out? I, th I saw people play that. Melgear, Melgear Rising is next. Melgear Rising is probably next Monday. And, um, this, uh, tomorrow we're going to be back on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, I don't know, or maybe it should be Wednesday. I don't know if, um, if I'm going to stream tomorrow. Right now I'm planning to, so let's say, let's say I'm planning to stream tomorrow and, uh, but I, I need to take a day off on the night before Saturday, I think. Um, so I think either tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm going to take the day off. Um, I'll announce it on Twitter ahead of time if I'm, if I'm not going to, but for now on, let's just say that I am and we'll, and we'll, and we'll, and we'll see. Do you have like a placeholder picture? Yeah, I could, but I'm I'm going soon. Like this is we're not going to be here for much longer. I need you to watch One Punch Man. Someone told me that he 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 doesn't always need one punch. Sometimes he needs more than one punch, and that's just unacceptable. Any plan to put y Yakuza Zero on the vote? Uh, I don't get to decide what goes on the vote. Um, subs and patrons do. Subs and patrons get to decide what's on the vote. two one punches do you think the slow start of doki doki and its anime vn bullshit hampered the rest of the game why are two people asking that um mm, the rest of the game no i think that the slow start may have even strengthened the rest of the game um and i think it had to be this anime vn stuff for it to work as as it is um from what i understand about them but um did did it hurt the game as a whole? Maybe I think some people might be put off, but for the rest of the game, sure. But it, ha it has that note at the beginning where it says, you know, if if you're easily disturbed, and I think that might be enough for people to go, huh? What? What? You know, like, yeah. Wait, I'm a sub. How do I do that? You have to join the Discord with the same amount of account, the same same account that you use on Twitch. You have to join Discord. Use the same email. I think it's email, and you'll be able to see a a chat room that only subs and patrons can 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 can. Um, read and every week we do a vote but we're not doing one this week because metal gear rising and this game tied so we're doing this we just did this one today and we'll do rising revengeance uh, on monday um so the next one will be um next tuesday the vote will go up i think the deftest potato copied my question if you want to watch anime, start with Death Note, please. Uh, the the Netflix one, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll watch I'll watch the the, the Netflix on on uh, thing on 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 Death Note. Yep, I'll do that. Thank you. This is the first. Yep, I'll definitely do that. 
and I'll judge all anime based on that from then on. Yep. Uh, which game did the meta stuff better or interest or more interesting? Um, this or Undertale? Uh, I would probably say Undertale, but this is this is a more pure experience, I think. Does that have to be the same email? You can connect your Discord to Twitch, can you? Well, you have to be oh, you have to be willing to do that. Yeah, but yeah, okay, if that works, cool. Watch Made in Abyss. It's weird, but gold overall. Cowboy Bebop. Uh, from what people told me about Cowboy Bebop, I think I would enjoy it. Anyway, guys, I think that I think that we're gonna call it here. Um, so this was this was a bit of a, a, a longer stream to get this done. I think that was the right decision instead of splitting it up. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it was entertaining. Uh, again, it was a blind stream, so I have no idea. I, I barely saw anything. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be back tomorrow and we'll talk. Chat will be open tomorrow when we continue with Xenoblade Chronicles. If I'm not here tomorrow, I'll be home Wednesday. Um, it'll be tomorrow or Wednesday. I will take off. I don't know which day, and I will say on Twitter later on if I'm not doing if if I'm not. Um, if I won't be streaming tomorrow, uh, but yeah, and I'll update the title here as well, but we'll see. So it'll be tomorrow or Wednesday that, that, that I'll be taking the day off anyway. So thanks for stopping by guys. I'll see you later. Say goodbye to Monica. Let's have a 2B bucket for, for Monica. See you later, Monica.